So there'll be a minute's applause here with uh, both clubs remembering, remembering Tony Collins. Chalabar releases Saar and Saar is away. Saar into the penalty area. And it's gone in, it's an own goal. Well, it's Myla Saar did all the hard work, working his way into the penalty area. He took his time and did it come off Ken Semmer at the end? It certainly came off a defender's knee, off the bar, into the net. And it's the perfect start for the Hornets. Two minutes on the clock. Watford won, Bristol City nil. I think it's the first time this season we've had such an early goal, but exactly what we talked about and hoped for. Getting Saar into those areas, it's definitely, looks like it's come off the crossbar and just hit Ken Semmer, who's in the right place at the right time. And for a goal scorer, that's everything you can ask for. A little bit of uncertainty from, from Saar as the defenders got close. Chao Pedro pulled back. Yeah, deflection, firstly off the, off the defender and then hit. Ken Semmer's chest and over the line. Looks for Patterson, but his touch is too heavy. Oh, he's exchanging passes with the goal scorer Semmer and Pedro with an elaborate back heel, which looks for Semmer and cleverly will give chase here. And cleverly gets there inside the box and turns in. Here's Ismail Asar for two. Get it's 2 0. Ismail Asar with the freedom of the Vicarage Road end penalty area, expertly set up by the captain Tom Cleverly. The Hornets have a two-goal advantage inside 15 minutes. Saar made the first, he scored the second. What for two, Bristol City nil. Brilliant again, not just for the finish from Ismail Saar, but Hughes, João Pedro has the confidence to try a little roundhouse kick to get Semmer in. And good awareness from, from Tom Cleverley. And let me tell you, as, the, as the, you get that close to a goalkeeper, you don't see an awful lot of the goal. He's finished that really well. It looks simple, but it's not. He, as the goalkeeper comes out, there's a very, very small area of the goal to hit there. And, and Ismail Asar's done brilliant. But the awareness from Tom Cleverley after some really good football. Fabulous goal. Well, we talked about the Hornets having to play quick and play on the floor today. And that's a little, little snapshot of what we have been feeling this team is capable of this season. They've carved Bristol City apart there with some lovely one-touch stuff. Two wills combined, tries to confine Hughes. Here's Messina. It's for João Pedro. Tries to find Semma. He might find João Pedro again, and it's blocked by Taylor Moore behind for a corner. More nice, intricate stuff inside the final third for the Hornets. João Pedro not far away from making it three. Really good football in tight areas. And you see, put it on, Semma puts it on a plate. I'm not even sure whether it was on target from João Pedro. But really good pass from Messina control from Sema, just that final part, we talk about it many many times, that's the hardest part of the game is putting the ball in the net but nevertheless another opportunity time to worry is when they don't arrive second corner cleverly from the right hand side this time drilled in towards the penalty spot, Taylor Moore to the way, Hughes with the shot Hughes with the goal Will Hughes makes it three it took a couple of nicks on the way and Bentley couldn't keep it out. But Will Hughes scores his first of the season. And Watford are almost out of sight. 3 0 inside half an hour. Will Hughes from 25 yards. Watford 3, Bristol City 0. Well, that goal finally comes. I don't think it was, it was hitting the target again. We just mentioned Joe Pedro missing the target from close range. Certainly that one. Didn't really catch it all that well, but it's taken the deflection. Keeper has maybe reacted a little bit too late. But nothing more than Watford deserve. I think they've been outstanding in this opening half an hour of the game. They've moved the ball around well and they've taken three opportunities. And it could have been more. Both this half and certainly the second half to get in behind, and the key to it is that quick passing. Just probably a lack of concentration from from Cleverly with his final pass. 
Kong's just too strong there for Shoshu. And here's Semo, and it's almost three against two. He looks for Xiao Pedro into the penalty area. Can he get it out of his feet? He shoots, he hits the bar. It comes to Xiao Pedro again. And it takes a couple of blocks, and Jack Hunt will clear. Watford so close to a fourth goal. Xiao Pedro rattling the crossbar. The Hornets are rampant here. The Robins are on the rack. Again, another fabulous pass. Good control and then poor defending to allow him to get his shot away. Instead of a, a, a striker that's oozing with confidence would just roll that into the bottom corner of the net, but he's tried to get some power on it. Might have been a slight nick on its way that forced it to hit the crossbar. Well, you mentioned goal difference, Tommy. And these three goals take the Hornets on to plus 14. Which uh, would be fourth best of the top six. As Femenir takes his turn now to run up more. And now looks for Saar. Can Saar square it? It comes to Semo. It's four now. Ken Semo with his second of the afternoon. Saar picked him out. After combining with Femenia, it's oh so easy for the very happy Hornets. 35 minutes on the clock. It's Watford 4, Bristol City 0. Well, everything's coming off this afternoon and Saar's causing all sorts of trouble down the right-hand side. But the awareness of, of Kiko there to, and the weight of pass into Ismail Saar and then to have that composure. He gets in those positions week in, week out. He doesn't cause the problems he is this afternoon because that's a fabulous little pullback to Ken Semmer. And whilst it'd be very difficult to miss that, it would be still possible. But he's put it right in the middle of the goal. It's a difficult place to be in that mental hole where you, there's nothing you can do about it. This is Saar. And it might fall for Xiao Pedro here. Xiao Pedro! It's saved at the near post by Bentley. We hit the bar in the first half, and he's forced to save out of the goalkeeper. There may have been a foul there on Saar as the ball then broke kindly for Xiao Pedro. Touch, and then it's Bentley had his angles covered at the near post. Watford have a corner. Great first touch from Xiao Pedro. And he's just opted for power on that occasion. Bentley's kept his legs shut and, and blocked it. John O'Scott. John O'Scott. That's why everybody remembers it then. Now here's Saar, first into the edge of the box. He's like, smile Saar! He scores his second. Perfectly placed to Bentley's right as he burst onto the loose ball. He scores his second of the afternoon and Watford go nap. Ten minutes played in this second half. Ismail Assar makes it five. Watford five, Bristol City nil. That's top class from Ismail Assar, exactly what we've been waiting for all season. Just playing on the front foot. Poor touch from Masenga, and he's nicked in. But from there, he's had the confidence and the ability to put it in the corner of the net. So composed, that finish. And just what they've deserved in this opening 10 minutes of the second half. The, the ball hasn't been in Watford's half of the pitch. Here's Mariapa. Baconson. A bit of space for Masengo inside the penalty area. And, but Batman's equal to it down to his left. First he, real chance for Bristol City of the uh, afternoon. He's equal to it, but only because it was a poor finish. Two of the Bristol City players have, have got two or three yards of space within the 18-yard box. Joe Pedro looks to release Saar. Saar might stretch his legs here. It's three against one. It's Andre Gray with Zinkenagel and Saar with him. Here's Saar. Saar in for the hat trick. He leaves it for Philip Zinkenagel to score his first Watford goal and to make it six. Unselfish from Ismail Saar. But he sets up Philip Zinkenagel to tuck home the sixth in the 90th minute. Watford finished with a flourish. Watford six, Bristol City nil. Uh, it's an excellent break from Saar initially in his own half, plays the ball to Gray. Intelligent pass from Gray. 
and then a selfish pass to Zinkenagel in the middle of the pitch for his first goal. I did it genuinely thought he was offside at first, maybe just ahead, ahead of Saar. The touch was a little bit heavy for him to finish and rolled it in for Zinkenagel. And that'll do him the world of good, getting his first goal. It's a lot of pressure taken off his shoulders. And also gives you a little, little bit of more sugar in the second half to take into Tuesday's game because you know, Bristol City have just sat and they've wanted the game to end for the last hour. And uh, there is the full-time whistle. And it's been a, a wonderful afternoon in the freezing conditions at Vicarage Road for the Hornets. They return to winning ways after a three-game winless run by six goals to nil, a seventh straight away defeat for Bristol City. The last time that happened, their seventh defeat on the road was also at Vicarage Road. It's a, an unhappy return for Adrian Mariapa. Two goals for Ken Semmer in the first half, two for Ismail Assar. Will Hughes having an effort deflected past Daniel Bentley. It was 4-0 at half-time. And then uh, Saar making it five, ten minutes after the break and then setting up Philip Zinkenagel for his first Watford goal in the 90th minute. A real statement of intent for the Hornets. A scoreline to raise some eyebrows and perhaps the rest of the championship might just be having a little look at this and wondering what's in store for Watford over the remaining 17 games. A resounding victory, a thumping victory at Vicarage Road. Full time, Watford 6, Bristol City 0. So click here for more videos.